Hi guys, so today I want to do a quick um, haul from some things I got at uh, the Dollar Tree and it's all garden related and mostly those seeds and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, just real quick, I kind of want to show you a little bit of my garden now, it's been a little while. Um, just planted out some things this morning that I wasn't appreciating so um, I just wanted to move around. So you already know I have my lime here, well I was trying to show this to you guys. You guys, my kitchen is going to be starting on Monday, the kitchen in Reno, so this whole thing, I mean hopefully you can see in there, it's so horrible. They're gonna come and finish demolishing everything and, oh these are some of my colors real quick, I'm not that distracted normally, but this is what the cupboards are gonna look like, the cabinetry. And this is the flooring we're gonna go with because a very remodeling person that came through here was like, they don't want to just match the footprint of the floor right now, which is kind of horrible because this goes everywhere. So everyone's like, just make it its own room. So um, we're gonna do that flooring, which has the colors of the other floor. It'll match with the, you know, everything else perfectly. There's gonna be a hardwood floor with it, which is what's the, under that paper that they put there. So that's why I was like, this is really, I'm just gonna let it go. I think we're just gonna let it go and it'll be fine. And if before we sell the house, if it bothers us, we'll just have to refloor the rest of the house <laughs> after you move out, right? Like just move everything and let a flooring company come in and do that in, you know, five, 10 years, whenever we decide to sell. But okay, so I have a lime here. She's popping off like, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see all these everywhere. And it might be too much. I think those things, a lot of times they say, you know, new gardeners are like, oh no, we're keeping it all. But can you imagine all this fruit? It's really gonna start hanging down. So I don't know, I'll have to see what I wanna do about that. But they smell awesome, it looks great. I just picked up a calamansi because I've always wanted to have a calamansi or a calamondin. It's basically a cross between a kumquat and a tangerine. And it's mostly like a Filipino item like that they use in cooking and stuff like that. So a lot of times you don't really just eat it. You kind of use the juice from it for different things. But it had a couple when I bought it. So we already took one off this morning and Dorian ate it and was like, oh, it's really sour. Um, you know, so I had to trim it up because it had some runners and anyway, uh, pink lemonade, Meyer lemon, I believe it's a variety of Meyer lemon. Um, I want to show you the biggest one I have right here. Oh, I don't know if you can see her. There she is. So cute, but she is actually doing really, really great. Like the, her stems or her branches are really sturdy. So whatever little fruit is coming up, I think it'll be fine. There's a whole little bunch right here too. Um, I'm not going through all of them. This is a tangerine. This is a dwarf honey mandarin. And she's getting her little little ladies on there. Hopefully you can kind of see those. And just going off again. So that's why I'm like, I don't know. Some of these you have to kind of prune back. This Meyer lemon didn't look that great when I bought it. And to be honest, I don't even know why I got it. It's a dwarf Meyer. I wanted a Meyer lemon, but I don't know why I chose this one. <laughs> she looks really bad. She has like no leaves. But since I got her, she's gotten some new leaves and they're coming in. So that's what they need. They. I hear for each lemon you need like 20 leaves um, for the photosynthesis so like obviously this thing has tons of lemons on it or at least uh, coming up and not enough leaves so I've been you know giving her what she needs. The Nagami kumquat which we already ate all of the kumquats off of and so she's getting ready for next year and some new growth coming on there. This one is popping off with all new growth but uh, the kumquats that are on here this is a fortunella have not um, ripened yet but when we got her they were green they were green 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 like green so she's getting there look at that they're ripening so those are good because the kids already ate all the rest of them just this morning or just actually a couple hours ago I had gone to Walmart and I picked up that um, flower oh I forgot the name of it it's that cool one with the long cones but it's purple and uh, butterflies and uh, what's it called um, hummingbirds love it and I replanted my um, Hydrangea there. I love hydrangea. It didn't really go in this backyard because everything over here is like tropical, but it wasn't doing that great in these pots over here. I don't know if you can see she looked kind of burned. So I put her over there and we will see. Hopefully they kind of grow together with some lush greenness because I know hydrangea just takes off and that other plant will too. So I'm gonna have to keep that watered. Um, maybe just the watering with the, uh, the um, sprinklers will work. I have a ton of leftover um, bird of paradise. We'll talk about that later. So what happened is I had bought these cactuses at Home Depot and I just had it literally in that black tub over there until right now. So those are where the hydrangeas were in. So I took them out because they weren't doing that great. Put them in the ground. Hopefully they do better. And these guys will just take off because it's cactus. Even you can beat them up. Look, I can see things already kind of flying around them, enjoying them. So that'll be great. Those, what are those things called? Oh, I always forget the name of it. Um, they've been there and they're doing great now. I fertilized them so I think that's what they needed. All my berries, which are four blueberry bushes, um, strawberries, 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 those, that strawberry and this one have been going off. 
That one I just planted so it didn't have anything so it's getting there so it's just pretty cool. Um, at my local nursery they sold a bunch of like 14 or 15 roots, right? Bare roots. And so I'm getting a lot of stuff off that. And so that's why some look better than others but they'll catch up. Those are actually eggplant that I just picked up this weekend but I did, you know there were six in a plant in a pot for three dollars from uh, Green Thumb and I didn't want to just get rid of them because I felt bad or put them in the ground let gophers eat them so uh, I just put them in a pot. That's why I told my husband I said you know what I think I'm done buying decorative pots because every pot I wanted it to look nice but I have like 30 of those black pots from like nurseries so I was like you know what whatever we're just gonna throw them in those black pots so those guys are in black pot those guys are all in nice pots these are all squash zucchini tomatoes um two types of zucchini uh more uh what's that called eggplant back there and i just put them in just regular old pots and i want to show you guys this is doing great my raised garden bed no gophers yet knock on wood or actually knock on that garden bed um doing great these are radishes that we put in just over a week ago and look how crazy they are taking off our little carrots that dorian and miranda planted are just coming out they're so cute i'm going to thin them out but i'm just trying to see where they are because they're so small um, this little bit of green, hopefully you can see that, is edamame. There should be another one like here and here before there's another one that's hiding down there. I can see them coming out right there. I know they're hard to see. These radishes we plant on Sunday and it's Thursday and they're already coming out. So I'm telling you, radishes are really fun. The kids, you know, hopefully they'll like them. Um, look at that, they're... And that's just in a little pot because you can put radish in as long as you have like maybe four inches deep. It's gonna work. Um, again, leftover chiles and sweet peppers that I didn't have the heart to throw out. Um, so I just planted them and if they grow, that's great. These are actually limes and lemons, sorry, lemon and tangerine that I put in the ground with a basket around it made out of chicken wire. So hopefully the uh, gophers won't eat their little feet. And I told my husband, or the roots, I said maybe next year, because I hate choking out the plant, you know, in case the little roots, but the roots are so small right now. So I was like, maybe next year we'll dig around to rip out that netting and then let the thing go. Because by then the roots will be nicer. And if gophers bite one or two, it's not going to kill the plant. But, um, you know, we'll see. So figs are doing great. I mean, they have a lot of growth. I don't know if you noticed, this is the one I told you wasn't doing anything, the Cadota, and now she's opening up. Um, Violet de Bordeaux is doing great. This one with this one little fig, I put a little bag on it because I just am protecting it. And now he's getting more leaves. This is the only leaf. When I got this at Home Depot, I had one leaf that was all crusty like this. And it had a little tiny fig that's now pretty good size. Um, what is that? I don't know. Black Mission. That one's the Black Jekyll one I showed you. And these are some fancier ones I picked up at the local nursery. And they're doing great. I mean, and these guys, I don't fertilize them or anything. Really quickly, I wanted to show you. I'll show you the seeds I got. Um, I did finally break down and pick these up because I kind of wanted all my pots to look the same and I wanted them to be terracotta But you know what these things are huge. They're 16 bucks at Home Depot. Maybe you can get them on sale um, I went ahead and got those Drilled holes in the bottom because they do not have holes So just you know with your drill just drill out a bunch of holes and I put a lot because you do want drainage in your pots So this one is already ready to go because I wanted my kids to plant yesterday But then their friends came over so we didn't have time but in here I have my potting mix which is just Kellogg Patio Plus they sell it at Home Depot at different places it's um, an organic potting mix you can just use any potting soil I mix it with some that those white pieces that you see in there that's uh, perlite and um, some peat moss is in there too because my husband made the mix before he left and there was some peat moss in there why not so that's what I'm going to plant the seeds that I'm going to show you in right now um, I think in this one I'll just do the same thing kind of basic and I'll, I'm going to do the Dollar Tree seeds in there because I'm curious if the Dollar Tree seeds will even work. It's from, oh, I got another <laughs> little strawberry up here. I know it's hard to see. Sorry, guys. I got another uh, fuchsia, which I think I need to water it. Well, this one's dying because it was already dead, but like, look how pretty that little fuchsia is. It's opening up there. And then this is the one I had initially. And now I want like every type, every kind. Look at those beautiful flowers. Look at this. I mean, they're just too pretty. So look at this bunch, it's ready to go off and look gorgeous. Oh, and then we put up some lights back here in this patio area. And even though those speakers look super old, there's wires inside the house that we didn't know anything about. And so this weekend we went and got a, a, a receiver and they work. So, hey, I was like, hey, we could have been gardening with music for the like, last, you know, a good while. But anyway, I'm gonna put this on a tripod 
and show you these seeds and try to get out of the, uh, try to get some better lighting. Better lighting wasn't possible, but what I want to show you guys is at the dollar store, they have these implements and if you haven't picked them up, pick them up. They are good. They have like the scratch it, like those little oh, trowels and all that kind of stuff for a buck and they work great. Now these snips right here, I've been using them to cut plants, to cut wire. When I did the wire on that gopher um, basket stuff, like they, and they, they're still awesome. They're still nice and sharp. So I'm like, this is crazy. So I went ahead and got the floral scissors, even though I don't really know what I use these for, but like for a buck, the other ones were great. So I grabbed another pair and I got those scissors. Of course, a mat so that you can kneel on. It's just foam, so a buck is just about right. I grabbed more of these guys because all the stuff I'm planning, I'm already forgetting their names. You know, when you buy those six packs or four packs, they come with like one little label, and so then you kind of want to remember what you're planning. Oh, here's a serrated shoe. This one's a little bit different than the other one. The other one's pointed, and, well, this one's pointed too, but it has serrations. So, all right, sorry, I have this lighting. I went in there and they had seeds and I'm like, okay, they had a limited to flower seeds. And then I went around the corner, they had more, but they had actual plant seeds. And I'm like, okay, sure, you know, whatever, they're a buck, but it says 99 cents, I didn't notice that. When they rang them up, they were only a quarter, you guys. So that's why I'm like, if these work, let's go for it. The lady that works there is like, oh yeah, I, I hope my kids just use them. I don't even pay attention to what they're doing. They just throw them out there and they, they grow, you know? Uh, just put them in the ground. So I have a beefsteak tomato, only because I didn't buy that initially, so might as well get a beefsteak. Yeah, maybe I, no. I was say maybe I can make my own shade, but no. Um, Kentucky Wonder Pole type um, green bean. I got the Serrano Chile because I didn't get any of those. Early summer crookneck. Uh, the Scarlet Nantes uh, carrots. I'm going to plant these in pots too, so uh, keep an eye out for that. That's what I'm saying. At the end of this video, I think I'm going to show you, and then I'll follow up and see if they're even growing, right? Like, we put them in, usually seeds, sprouts, you know, they sprout within a week, a couple days, some of them, it just depends, so we'll see. Uh, a cantaloupe, because why not? Alaska pea, uh, cucumber, this is a muncher, so it's a little bit smaller, which might work in a, in a uh, container. That's kind of what I'm at, because like I said, we have gophers, unless I make another garden bed, which I might. My husband's like ready for it. He's like, let's do another garden bed because it was so easy then. They look so nice, but we'll see. Uh, Danvers half long carrots because they're shorter and you can put this in a container. Guys, I'm telling you, you just pop these in just like I did over there in the raised bed. Just, you know, just right under the soil and just water them and they're going to come up. Um, early Scarlet Grove radish. I have the watermelon sugar baby, which is another small guy. You can put them in a container. Uh, purple top white globe turnip because why not? I want to try turnips. Roma tomatoes, because I never got a Roma, and I, that's my favorite type of tomato. Um, obviously, I'm not going to plant all these, but you can cycle things through also. When something's already grown and it's kind of at the end of its little life, okay, put something else in, especially in California. So we can plant in California, I think I'll tell you here, from March through, uh, well, okay, this one's September through February because it's a little cucumber. I should have probably gotten this in the ground already. So I'll have to wait until September. But we have two growing seasons, basically. It's like March through May, and then again, like, September through October or whatever, something like that, because it's just that way out here. <laughs> um, I have the Garden Green Bean, which is the top crop heirloom variety. Uh, the Straight Eight Cucumber. Um, this is a spinach, because why not? I've never tried planting my own spinach. Uh, sugar Snap Peas, which are my favorite. Uh, sparkler White Tip Radish. I might end up getting two of the same thing. Like, I think I got another one of the cantaloupe, because I wasn't sure. I was like, did I get the cantaloupe? And I, you know, Grand Bell mix of uh, peppers. These are so cute because it's going to be a different mix of colors. I like things like that. It's kind of fun. Hale's Best Jumbo Cantaloupe. Sweet Basil Herb. Again, I'm just going to throw that in the ground because that just takes off on its own. Yeah? Can I close uh, I'll close the door. She came outside and didn't close the uh, screen door. Uh, mixed color Swiss Charge with well, Swiss Chard, which is so pretty. I've seen people grow this and it looks so gorgeous. The California Wonder Pepper, which I already have in the ground anyway in my raised bed. Uh, table Queen Acorn. If we can grow a squash like this, that'd be really fun. Uh, I got the early yellow straight necks. I usually get a crook neck squash, so I thought I've never tried this one, so I'll get that going. And then the giant noble spinach, which is like a regular spinach. So all those were a quarter, you guys. So I thought I was gonna spend what, like 15, 20 bucks? I don't know how many packets I have there, and it ended up being like three or four dollars, which is ridiculous. I've been buying seeds, you know, it's not that seeds are super expensive, they're not, but sorry, my daughter wants me to open something. Um, you know, they're still two or three bucks a pack sometimes. Sometimes they're, you know, a little cheaper, but you might find them on sale or maybe at Walmart they might be cheaper. I don't know. Um, I did want to show you really quick. Miranda, I can't get this open right now. One second, okay? Let me do this and then... I can open it. You can open it? Okay. So I had gotten these at, um, 
what's it called? What's that place called? <laughs> Home Depot. So these are carrot tender sweet and they're supposed to be kind of small. So that's why I like to put these like in the pot. So they're only $1.58. I got these even though they're different colors and mixes. I'm not sure if these are going to work for me in a pot, but a very deep pot, it might work. And then some nasturtium because these you can put in the ground and they will take off and you can eat them. The flower and the uh, leaves are edible. And I'm not sure if it says that on here and hopefully it's the edible variety that I have here, but I'll have to look that up before I decide to eat them, right? But, um, but anyway, I'll make sure that the right variety. I know, I said, give me a minute. And then they have this, and I thought this was really cute. A starter garden. It says, uh, it comes, uh, it's a salad garden. So it's from Burpee. It was only $3.97, so basically a dollar a pack. It comes with your cucumber, with a radish, with lettuce seeds, and beet seeds. So isn't that adorable? So this is what I'm gonna let the kids plant in that one pot that I already have ready to go. I'm gonna make some more potting mix that I normally do, and I'll throw in some Dollar Tree, um, items so that maybe hopefully next week I can tell you that it's already um, the seedlings are already sprouting at least that way we know that they're still good for germination because they're just like this like okay this Miranda Lou uh, this fairy morse packet says it's packed for 2019 right sell by December of 2019 and these all say the same thing you know like therefore this year for this season um, packed for you know 2019 sell by December 2019 so just follow the seed packets on the back, like what it says. Um, some of them I was like, ooh, I think I missed my planting time. I should have got these in the ground in February is what it looks like. But I think we're okay. In California, I can kind of push it a little bit. Some things do want to germinate when it's cooler. That's why it's like February, you know, to the end of February. So I'm going to hold on to these guys. Uh, we will plant a few different things and get it going. Uh, right now, I'll show you with the kids. They're going to plant these guys, water it a little bit. And then um, I'll put some of these in, I'll just pick a few, and then we'll see how they do. Um, next week I'll do a follow-up video, okay? So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now. Okay, guys, so we have this big 20-inch whiskey barrel. The thing says to use a 24-inch. Um, it's what I have. I'm not going to do anything small in that. So we have the little burpee starter garden. I also planted the Dollar Tree ones, and I did things that are going to be similar to this in the Dollar Tree, so make sure to watch for that, or keep an eye out for that video. I'm not going to post it until they actually make um vegetables or seedlings at least so that we know that they're actually working but i already have little signs here from the dollar store also with the names of the different things that are in here and so we're going to open this up and doran's going to help me plant these um so one of the things that's in here is the cherry bell radish which i already have from burpee and it's already open so we're just going to use that i'm not going to open the packet that's in here but it's pretty cute when you open it up it has all these little cherry bell radish black seeded simpson which i don't know how to do this at all so in average soil for a sun, early spring for first crop, uh, 12 inches apart, cover with a quarter inch of fine soil. That's insane. So you barely, you barely put this into the dirt. The ra radishes, I also know you barely put them into the dirt. The beets, you barely put into the dirt. Um, you want them about three inches apart when you thin the the beets and the cucumber is the bush champion which is a compact one that's good for this kind of thing it says you want to keep two to three per group so that's kind of what i was wondering because you want it's gonna have like different vines or different plants you know so let's plant them in that way um okay doran so let's get radish so we're gonna put the short things in the front the radish the beets are gonna be in the front the cucumber is gonna be in the back um and i guess the lettuce just around here i don't know <laughs> so let's go with that lettuce Okay, so let's make a few little holes, like for the beets, I mean for the radishes, yeah, for you the barely beets. have to the put radishes. them in here, Mandaloo, and just give them about an inch apart from each other, and these are going to take off. These are going to grow faster and make radishes way before anything else, but let's go ahead and put our little sign here too. And Doran, you've done this a bunch, so yes. this time we're only going to put like one in each little hole, okay? So one in each hole? Yeah. Because they end up germinating, like whatever, yeah, just, so it's very minimal, there's some holes here. Right there, right there, right there. You're literally barely putting anything down, <laughs> and then you're just barely going to cover it up. And just, watch out, honey, I think you're right in front of the camera. Should I throw it Yeah, sure. I was going to tell you, these are the easiest thing. And uh, maybe I'm making it too easy now, and then I'm going to end up... Not planting them right, huh, Dorian? Mm. <laughs> but they're good. And these will start sprouting in just a few days. Okay, okay that's the radish. I'm trying not to cover um, too much. Okay, let's do the beet next, because I don't know exactly. Do the beet. You want to do the beet? Okay, this one needs beet. to also be a half inch into. I brought scissors out for a reason, I still didn't use them. 
Okay, all right, Mando, well, let's see. And I already pre-moistened this um, soil. Um, Where are the seeds? Yeah. Beets. Beets, okay, Mama. So, look, I'm gonna make a little hole with my finger. Can you put them in there? Oh, uh, hold on, I already got the little hole. I need you to take one of these little weird looking things and drop it in the hole. Okay. Doran, you can come. They do look pretty weird. They are interesting, huh? Okay, one more. Oh, one more here. Sorry, guys, I think we're all like in front of the camera. Watch out, Dorian. Wait, okay. move the camera a little bit. No, 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 no. Thank you. Um, this tripod is really rickety, and I swear if we were to touch it, it'd probably fall over, so no. Are you still okay. To this? Okay, Miha, hold on. Even the tripod. Um, okay, that's the radish we already did. And lettuce. I don't know, eight lettuce. inches. Okay, we're gonna put a couple lettuces in one spot. And then just, like I said, take out the weakest ones whenever it germinates. Because I'm assuming I'm only going to be able to put one lettuce in here. I don't know okay, what germinating darn. means, but okay. Look how tiny these little seeds are. Oh my gosh. Okay, so grab all those seeds. Grab them all. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to make a hole right here. And a quarter inch, so right on top. Just put sprinkle them right on top. Oh? Yeah. Because, I don't know, they're so small, it's not a big deal. Okay, that's it for that. That's the lettuce back here, and then our cucumber. So we're gonna put probably two or three seeds in the same. You're gonna do the cucumber. <laughs> she goes and gets on the, uh, I think called the hammock, and then it's like, oh, I gotta come right back for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the cucumbers, Mama. How far do they need to be apart? Um, they kind of need to be near each other. Okay. So let's just. Can you move over here, Dorian, so you're not in front of the camera? Amanda, go ahead and put it in, Mama. We'll just put in a couple. Put it right next to where she put that one. Okay, and that's it. So I'll just do some light watering on top of this. And, yep, go ahead. And find a nice spot in the sun where these little guys are towards the front and then the tall guys are towards the back facing the sun. And, um, and that's it. So just water it and it'll be very cute. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.